We are a planet of water, but to just bring it locally, we're, we are land almost surrounded completely by water. I think salt water is very much a part of people's sense of place and their psyche. And we do a lot of things that, that have unintentional consequences. We've developed badly in some locations. We've put some of our infrastructure in places where that shouldn't be. And then on the good side, we've depended on our coastal waters for our economy. People love coming here. They love going to the beach. They like knowing that they can eat local fish. And all of that is so dependent on having good water quality. The center has been monitoring Kitka Bay in some form or another for many, many, many years. The water quality part of it probably started in 2000 when the Boston outfall went online. And then our latest expansion to this program was including contaminants of emerging concern. We are the first organization to document the presence of these contaminants in our coastal waters. The problem of contaminants of emerging concern is only going to go up because as, as humans we're the source of these contaminants. We, we're going to, our drug, you know, over-the-counter drug use is going up, our prescription drug use is going up, our use of cleaning products and personal care products, all of that is increasing, plus the population is increasing, our development is increasing, so that's only going to increase the amount of these contaminants going into the environment. So whereas we have baseline data on basic water quality, we also need to establish baseline data on these contaminants. It's 17.3 degrees, salinity is 31.28, pH is 8.18. Most of the degradation in water quality is happening the closer to shore, the, the areas that humans are having a bigger impact. So our offshore stations aren't seeing much change. They're staying pretty, pretty stable in terms of water quality. But the closer we move to, to shore with the, you know, the greater impact of humans on, on the area, we're seeing conditions decline. We collect the data for our own purposes, but also a primary goal of this program is to make the data available. We want different management organizations, we want towns, we want the state, anybody that needs, you know, all the, even graduate students, anybody that needs this data, that's who we're collecting it for. If the center's programs had sustained funding, it would allow, allow each of the programs to not only expand in some ways, but most importantly, it would allow them to look to look at and analyze the years of data that have been collected by these programs, to really enlarge the opportunities that we have right here to do, to get more of our research out, and would also allow us to really develop new scientists. If we could continue that, that would be awesome. <laughs>